So you've got Clip Studio Paint, either EX or Pro, either one, it doesn't matter. And you find yourself getting started and looking at this toolbar and being a little overwhelmed at what the different settings are. There's a systematic way these things work, and I just want to go over what each tool um, property gets changed when you are clicking on any given one. So when you start, you'll see the first tool up here is Zoom, and there's two windows that you really need to do, or two panels you really need to understand, and that's the tool panel, which is up between the tools, and every time you click one, over here you will see that this panel where the tool properties the sub tool and the brush size is and if you don't know where this one is if you don't see it go up to window and go to the sub tool and click that it should pop up or just click on different tools and every time that you hit a different tool you will see a window change so what do they do if you go to the zoom tool you'll see that the sub tool lists every variation of that tool a better example would be to hit the brush and all your brushes are under the sub tool if you hit the eraser all the different types of erasers are under there if you hit the paint bucket all the different types of paint bucket fills are under there same with shapes so you will use this one a lot when you click on these different tools, it's just the sub tool is, will change and show you all the different options for that tool. Um, now, the other one that will change, if you go back to our brush, because that will be one you use a lot, is the tool property. And this is where you get into adjusting the specifics of that tool. So if I go in and choose whatever leaky pen, or these are some custom brushes, uh, but if you choose your inker, your tech pen, or whatever, and then you go over to this one, which is the tool property. That's where you can adjust the size, the opacity. You can adjust anti-aliasing. And if you don't know what that is, I have a video in my playlist explaining that. And the stabilization. So when I click on a different tool, you will see that that tool property also changes. So the selection lasso tool, you can choose your selection mode. Again, anti-aliasing. The zoom, how that does. Again, under tool properties. The third one in that same window is the brush size. If it is grayed out, that means that the brush size does not apply. So for the zoom, it's grayed out. If I go to my brushes, it lights up and you can quickly choose the different sizes of your brush. So that is the general system for how, when you click on tools, how you adjust those tools and use them and select different types of those tools. Hope that helps. If something wasn't clear, please let me know in the comments. Let me know if there is a different subject in Clip Studio Paint that you want me to go over. Just let me know and I will talk to you soon.